Hey guys, in the last video we finished machining all the parts for the intake. In this episode, we're gonna start welding the intake together. So, uh, Jack always gets the fun of welding. In this video, I'm gonna give it a shot. So, let's do this. How's it look? I think it's pretty good. Yeah. So, I'd say we're ready. <laughs> You welded the wrong part! Alright, so what we got here are the runners. We're welding the injector bungs to the runners. Uh, what we did is take a piece of tape to hold it in position and then we'll tack it here take the tape off and then finish welding it but uh, we've already notched them and everything so you can see they're all yeah we took those cut them and then sanded them to line up with the port and then we're just going to run a bead here so we don't see anything on the outside All right, so we got a finished one here. We just welded around like we were saying before. So all 10 are done. We're gonna go ahead and clean it up. We did one of these. Yeah, you can see it's cleaned up. We're gonna grind it down so it's smooth, not to uh, impede airflow. So with this done, now we're gonna go ahead and start moving on to porting the plates to the heads. All right, so we're mounting the V8 heads to the block one more time. Uh, we're going to try and mount the flanges that we machined to the heads so that we can port match the head to the flange. Uh, but like we showed last time, this actually hits the V8 head. So we're going to just mark it, notch this so we can mount it correctly. And then we'll get to porting this before doing any welding to the, to the ports. Quick update on the intake welding. Yeah, so we got the plates welded to all the runners. Not the prettiest welds, but it's holding together and it's not leaking. Um, we decided to go ahead and weld around the bungs because there was a small pinhole leak on a couple of them. So we figured this is probably the right way to do it anyway. So we did that. Um, now we have them bolted onto the heads. We're going to set up all the, you know, the, the widths and all that. We got this plate back here tacked in. Um, and then we t tacked all the trumpets to these two bottom plates. Now we're going to put in the, this bottom uh, lower plate here. It's a little too small. We cut it a little too small. So we're going to have to recut that larger. Um, and then we're just going to keep going through with all the pieces, sticking them together and making sure everything fits up on the heads. Um, and uh, We'll keep going.
getting a little bit heavy, but here's the base of the intake. So it's all done, welded, as Jack said. We sanded the runners, try to make it as smooth as we could. Um, now the next step is we're starting on the, on the sides. So we have everything already cut. Uh, we're gonna start by welding the divider first. We still have to make sure it's uh, in the right position, but we're gonna put this on first. I think weld on one side uh, and then take one of the side plates and then weld that and then we're going to start on the front plates. So we're going to try and finish one side of the intake first, make sure it's sealed and then go to the other side. So let's get started with that. Alright, so I'm grinding the front pieces here, just getting them ready for the uh, for the for welding. But uh, jackets back welding on the intake. We uh, we spent all day yesterday grinding the trumpets, and uh, we uh, we broke through a couple welds. Um, so we saw some cracks in some of these, which just means we uh, we went a little too deep with our grinding. But uh, we decided that it's not worth it, you know, if we put it all together and then there's air leaks. So we're welding around the trumpets one last time. Yeah, just and reassurance. Yeah, we're just going to leave it like that. It shouldn't impact our flow at all, really. Uh, and that way, we're, we're sure everything is sealed. So once he's done with that, we'll get started with the rest. We just finished forming this with a good uh, hammer and our die. A good hammer, a rubber mallet. Uh, it's a little bit bigger, so it's uh, it's overlapping, but we're gonna cut that out. But this is pretty much the shape we want. So, you know, it meets this corner, it meets the top here. Then the second piece to finish up the top is essentially just a square, or rectangle, sorry. And we close that up, so we're gonna shave a little bit of material here just fine-tune the fitment we also figured out what this looks like oh yeah it's an owl it's an owl this is going to get cut off too the it's a, you know it's 50 coyote this is 68 owl
All right, guys, we're finally done with the intake. When we started this project, we knew we were gonna to have to do a custom intake because there is nothing available for a four valve V10. The first step was firing up SolidWorks and 3D modeling the intake based on three main parameters. First was our RPM goal of 8,000 RPM. So that set up our runner geometry. Second was dual throttle body for this even fire V10. And the third was the plenum volume to make sure we fed this 6.8 liter properly. The second step was 3D printing a full size intake, which you can watch if you go back two videos in the build series. We put this intake on the engine and checked for fitment and how it looked. We made a couple revisions based on that, the way the front slopes down in this new design. And then we also shortened the overhang because we saw we didn't need as much. So now after weeks of cutting and welding, here's the final intake. All right, here she is. The intake is all finished. We got it all welded up and cleaned up. We left this exposed weld on the primer because we kind of like the look of the sheet metal intake. We have here the butt cheeks that uh, we've changed from the 3D print revision. It really gives it a nice aggressive look. So this was a good change, I think. We really like the way that came out, especially with the way it looks with the two throttle bodies. These all fit up real well and fit on the engine real good. Um, so. That's really it for the intake. We haven't decided what we want to finish it in. So if you guys have any suggestions, just leave it in the comments. We're open. We'd, we're not sure what we want to do with it yet, but we want to hear what you think. We got in the bulk fuel rail. So we're going to be machining these out on the mill for the injectors. And then we're going to make up a little uh, brackets here, a couple brackets to hold this down to the fuel rails, to the fuel injectors. We have some good progress on big components for this build. So if you don't wanna miss it, make sure to subscribe. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.